2022 will be the biggest archaeological year to date. Archaeologists have uncovered the truth about the punishment of children in ancient Egypt during Cleopatra's father's reign. And was the ancient Ecuadorian tribe responsible for the first discovery of the solar system? Here are five upcoming digs that will revolutionize the way we understand history. Antiochia ad Cragum, Roman Pirates Infiltrate When most people think of pirates, they imagine figures both fictional and real like Captain Jack Sparrow and Blackbeard. Basically, they think of swashbucklers scouring the Caribbean Sea in the 17th and 18th centuries. But piracy is far older than this. In the 2nd and 1st centuries BC, Cilician pirates wreaked havoc across the Mediterranean Sea. Their harbors in Cilicia, which spans along southern Turkey, offered perfect natural protection from aggressive powers in the region. In fact, for a number of years, these pirates were not just free to maraud and plunder. They were supported by a local ruler, Diodotus Tryphon, who encouraged them to undertake raids upon his rivals. The Roman Empire also tolerated the pirates for some time as they supplied slaves. However, the Cilician pirates continued to spread across the Mediterranean until their activities began to disrupt the economic and military expansion of the Roman Empire. After a number of small campaigns, the empire initiated a major onslaught against the pirates in 67 BC. The Roman general Pompey the Great sent over a dozen fleets of ships throughout the Mediterranean, subduing the pirates once and for all. In June 2022, the University of Nebraska will begin excavations of a 75-acre stretch of Antiochia ad Cragum. Researchers believe that this area to have been a haven for the Cilician pirates. The area could shed light on how the pirate communities operated, and it seems certain that the dig will uncover something incredible. Previous digs in the region have uncovered the largest known mosaic in Turkey, and ancient latrines that were covered with images of smutty scenes from mythology ancient Ecuadorian tribe first to discover solar system? Today, Agua Blanca is home to a parish and a fishing village in Ecuador's Machalia National Park. But thousands of years ago, it was home to a thriving community of people called the Monteno. Many stunning finds have come from this area such as temples, pottery, and skeletons wearing fine jewelry. But most interestingly, archaeologists have identified an area that stretches two and a half square miles that contains over 600 earth platforms and walls made of stone. These stand from 1 to 2 meters in height. They appear to be related in some way to a number of other features on surrounding hilltops. The archaeologists also suspect that something about them aligns with astronomical and solar patterns. Even if these structures remain mysterious, more information is likely to come regarding the Manteno people's religion and relationships with other communities in the area. This is sure to increase our understanding of how people lived in South America before the time of European discovery. Warrior Casts Out Demons In the year 699 AD, a warrior-turned-monk named Guthlak chose to live the life of a hermit on a small island called Croyland. The course of his hermitage was anything but mundane. The biography The Life of Guthlak states that demons often visited, spoke with and tortured the hermit. Later in his life, Guthlak was said to have performed an exorcism on a man named Ekka. And finally, Guthlak provided sanctuary to an exiled king, Ethelbald. After he died, Guthlak supposedly appeared in a vision to Ethelbald, predicting that the exiled man would once more become king of Mercia, which is nowadays in the middle of England. This prediction proved true. These are just some of the rumors that surround St. Guthlak. But in 2021, archaeologists discovered that the site of St. Guthlach's hermitage was more complex than previously known. The island, which is now in the middle of dry land, had been previously occupied for an extensive amount of time. In fact, the archaeologists uncovered material dating back to the prehistoric era. And then they discovered the wall of a previously unrecorded building, which appears to be a Saxon church constructed out of reused Roman material. The next excavation of Guthlak's hermitage takes place in September and is sure to unearth more about his mysterious life and those that were there before him. Scientists Reveal Truth About Athribis of Ancient Egypt In early 2022, researchers discovered a huge trove of information relating to everyday life in Athribis, a city in ancient Egypt. Over 18,000 pieces of pottery shards called astraka, which were inscribed with writing and other information, came to light. 
These ashtraka were written over a wide span of time from many different sources. But the vast majority of them are written in a language that was used when Pharaoh Ptolemy XII ruled, between 81 to 51 BC. For context, Ptolemy XII's daughter was Cleopatra, a much more famous pharaoh by today's standards. These shards are basically the equivalent of pages torn from notepads, because pottery was used as a cheaper writing material than papyrus in ancient Egypt. This allows researchers to gain a deeper understanding of the concerns of the everyday person who was living during the time of the pharaohs. In addition to writing, some of the shards show pictures of animals, people, and gods. And most excitingly, a lot of the writing appears to come from an Egyptian school. In fact, the researchers even believe that some of the shards come from students who were forced to write as a punishment for misbehavior, which is basically the equivalent of today's school children being forced to write out lines. Of course, deciphering ancient writing is a time-consuming process. The true extent of the knowledge that these ostraca contain is yet to be fully understood. If the revelation of the school line writing punishment is anything to go by, then they could reveal much more about how life has, in some ways, changed very little over the last 2,000 years. And who knows what else will come out of the excavation at Athribis? Egypt's Ministry of Tourism and Antiquity states that at least one temple and a number of houses have yet to be excavated at all. Spaniards turned defeat into victory at Zarita Castle. In 1195, the Spanish Order of Calatrava suffered a crushing defeat at the Battle of Alarcos. In fact, even their castle was lost. The surviving knights of the order had no choice but to retreat from the army of Abu Yusuf Yaqub. They found Zarita Castle and made it their base of operations. Ironically, Zarita Castle was originally built by the armies invading Spain. Somehow, over the following years, the knights managed to regroup, regain strength, and come back stronger than ever. Thanks to the strategic decisions made in this castle at this time, the order was able to reclaim their lost lands and endure until the 19th century. And this is just one of the many stories that took place within Zarita Castle, its location alongside what was once one of only three bridges crossing Spain's largest river, the Tagus meant that the castle was a hub for the many people traveling through medieval Spain, and its foundations are made of looted stonework from the ruins of a nearby Visigothic city, Rakopolis. Somehow until recently, the archaeological world had overlooked the site. In the present day, more and more is being discovered about Zarita Castle. The next major excavation takes place in July 2022. So, what do you guys think? Which one of the archaeological digs are you most looking forward to? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.